I see companies that use great CRM tools for tracking sales teams, industry-specific accounting software to keep the books, and powerful project management tools for their projects. They have office productivity suites, chat apps, and file management tools. Some even have comprehensive ERP systems or an HRIS system for HR compliance. But surprisingly few companies use the following eight management tools, and even fewer people use a structured management system to keep all the other systems and the respective managers working together. So what are these tools? Some may sound like common sense, but as Frank Lloyd Wright once said, there's nothing more uncommon than common sense. So once you listen to this list, let me know how many of these tools you really use consistently. First, sharing long-term corporate goals. Sharing long-term goals helps middle managers to plan and hire the right people so they can reach the medium-term goals that are necessary for you to reach your long-term goals. Second, tracking key performance indicators. Key performance indicators, or KPIs, are a powerful early warning system for identifying problems before they become a crisis. Third, documenting key procedures. Procedures aren't sexy, but they provide the routine every business needs to deliver consistent value to their customers. Fourth, regular management meetings. Goals, KPIs, and procedures are great, but well-run management meetings are where managers and teams are held accountable for their performance. Fifth, consistent one-on-one -on -one meetings. Teams depend on many one-on-one -on -one relationships, which are developed and maintained by regular, focused conversations about both parties' goals and issues. Sixth, rating employees against company mission and values. Just as we constantly evaluate acquaintances by their personal values, regularly evaluating team members against their corporate mission and values identifies problem people before they chase off our top performers. Seventh, following written company values. Using company values to make decisions allows managers to delegate and expect to see that decisions are made in the same way by employees as the manager would have made those same decisions. Eighth, giving positive feedback. Corrective feedback works far more effectively after a pattern of positive feedback has been established, typically with five to 10 positive feedback interactions for every corrective feedback given. So, would you agree that most of these items are fairly common sense items? But how many of these tools are you using consistently? To dig into each of these tools and how they interact with each other, check out the Abundant videos available on each tool. Also, follow Abundant to see all of our updates.